What's up guys, it's Junior here, welcome back. The double thematic uh, two-player starter deck has uh, released uh, and uh, we're going to open uh, today with you in order to check out what cards are inside. The double thematic uh, deck includes uh, uh, the XYZ deck and the Synchro deck with, uh, of course, uh, Zeus as uh, the top hit card of uh, the entire uh, double thematic deck. So without further ado, let's crack the box and uh, check out all the cards one by one. Starting by reviewing uh, first the box, as you can see, is uh, exactly similar than the maze of, uh, excuse me, the Magnificent Maven box. There is a flyer explaining uh, how to play the credit card game. As you know, starter decks are mainly decks that introduce a game to the players, the new players. And in general, as you can see, the box has uh, is double sided. It's uh, uh, divided by two. On the right uh, uh, side, the X Y Z deck. In the left side, is the synchro deck. Let's take everything out and uh, let's start by reviewing first the synchro deck to see what is inside and what cards are included in the deck. For the synchro cards, we have uh, Menadium Prime Hurt. We have a uh, Rumping uh, Smack Tank of Coral Dragon, very good. Very good as an Ultra Rare, Coral Dragon. And Stygian Sergeant as the last Ultra Rare of, of this collection. And the rest are the common cards. We have Back to the Front, Manadium Fearless, Galaxy Cyclone, Supply Squad, Phantom Knight uh, Hybrid. We have uh, Liberty at last. White Elephant, GIF, have a Power Frame, Dark Resonator, Quill Bolt, Card Trooper, Mobius, Mage Power, really nice. Really nice uh, to see this card. Uh, it's very good. Uh, um, equip Spell card. It will, uh, it will help the, uh, the card value to reduce. It's, uh, it was uh, very expensive as a common back then. I have, of course, Magic Cylinder. One of the most iconic uh, Yu Gi Oh cards. Maybe this looks like a combination of uh, the old starter decks among with uh, uh, some of the newer cards. We have Mask of Akers, we have uh, Kunai with Chain, Dark Hole, Mask of Darkness, Fisher. It reminds me of the, the old Pegasus and Joy deck among with uh, some uh, new Resonator cards. Manam Dium is the second one. Uh, Visa Starforth, the common version of Visas. Nice. We have um, Obsessive. Uh, Yuva Loop. We have, ooh, nice. We have the Diddy Crow as a common. Very nice card. Very nice. We have a uh, one time passcode. Warrior Telling Alive. Card Card D. Scapegoat. Oh, nice. Storming Mirror Force. So far, I have seen like uh, three staples along with uh, the holographic cards. We have Backup Rider, Sword of the Reeling Light, and here are the, the normal uh, monsters. We have Alive Justice Clausulas, Gilgarth, Ojama Green, I guess the other deck has the Ojama Yellow, we have the Rerun, the Joy uh, of the Pikachu, excuse me, card. Yes, we have a Launch Spider, Spirit of Harp. Ipanchi and Elemental Hero Sparkman. This is the last card of uh, the deck, along with uh, uh, this. Uh, I don't know, let's say token card. And let's move into the second deck, which is uh, the XYZ deck. With, uh, of course, the most wanted card of the entire decks, which is uh, Divine Arsenal Zeus. For me, this card would be like a 7 to 8 euro card. Uh, Since so the product value, it's still expensive. It's not uh, that cheap because it's double deck. It's an uh, expensive product. So we have uh, the Divine Arsenal Zeus, the Castell. Nice, nice uh, card. We have uh, number 20, Giga Brilliant, and Augusto Emerald. Those are the four ultra rare cards of uh, this uh, deck. And then moving on to the common card, we have uh, First Tiger, uh, Monku, we have Magical Broker, Star Drawing, Night Beam, 
Artwork Control, Star Changer, Gaga Magician, Fighting Spirit, Burden of the Mighty, Peace King Barbaros, a good card back then, Swing of Memories, Geroid, Dark Factory of Mass Production, Gravity X, of Needle Ceiling, Book of Moon, another one staple here, Mystical Space Typhoon, Penguin Soldier, Magician of Faith, have uh, Children the Mage, Dark Magician Girl, here we are with the Yugi deck, combination of Yugi deck, have uh, XYZ Reborn, Crane Crane, Skill Successor, Eltish, a Golden or really nice common card, very nice, very very nice, Cyber Dragon, another one good card, we have Gold of the Handed, another good common, have uh, Curse Down, Thousands and Knives, the two uh, Dark Magician cards, we have uh, White Ninja, the Draining Shield, No Entry, Trade In, really nice common card, and we are here with uh, the normal card, of course, we have a uh, Sword Stalker, Ojama Yellow, as we mentioned before, so it, we are missing uh, the Ojama uh, Green, if I'm not mistaken, or the Ojama Black, maybe, yeah. We have a uh, Dark Magician here. This artwork is uh, stunning. And I think this is the first time we've seen this artwork as a common card. We have uh, Rabbit Dragon, Lajin, one of the most iconic Kaiba cards. A giant shoulder of stone, Queen's Knight, and of course the promotional card of uh, the XYZ deck here as well. So, in general, there are very good cards uh, in the decks, especially Zeus, uh, and let's say Daigo Summer are two of the most. Uh, Wanted holographic card of the deck. For me personally, uh, I truly believe that uh, it doesn't worth to invest uh, fifteen uh, to twenty dollars for for a starter deck like this. If you are a competitive player or something like this, if you're a new player and you want to introduce it in the game, it's very good investment, especially if you want to get some staples and of course uh, Divine Star Zeus, which is uh, in either way shifting dollar cards. So yes, yeah, in general, uh, my opinion is for for the players is to invest in every card separately instead of buying the entire decks. So thank you for staying with us for the last eight minutes. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, comment down below if you would like to see how we can make a uh, three uh, sort of deck to become uh, as much competitive as possible. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.